Welcome to this Pharmaceutical Technology Thought Leadership Series broadcast. I'm Rita Peters, Editorial Director of Pharmaceutical Technology. In this conversation, I'm going to discuss strategies to address challenges in early development phases with Brent Moody, Principal Scientist, Catalan Pharma Solutions. So welcome, Brent. What is Optiform Solution Suite? Well, thank you, Rita, for having us on. Optiform Solution Suite is really a continuation of services that we provide to our clients. It allows, helps a client to, to have an efficient and, and rapid pathway from candidate selection to phase one supplies. Um, this service suite is, is certainly customizable um, and tailorable to our client's specific goals and timelines, but in its entirety, it essentially starts with very early rapid formulation to services to get our clients into early phase preclinical rat models and from there we take that data and we leverage it with DMPK analysis which allows us to predict human PK and begin to establish the parameters of a successful human formulation. For, in parallel with that we will screen a compound for critical physiochemical characteristics so we're looking at the at what the compound likes what it doesn't like and we're beginning to establish where that drug falls in the develop, developability uh, 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 space. From that point, we talk to our clients about what is the best path forward for them. Not necessarily what is the best formulation, but what is the most appropriate formulation. And if they have a simple path forward, if their drug is readily available or orally available, we're able to go directly into, into GMP manufacturing. But more, than, more likely than not, they have a solubility or a bioavailability challenge, and we have the ability to do rapid parallel screening using minimal API supplies to look at a couple different technologies. Um, for instance, spray dry dispersions, lipid technologies, particle size reduction, and allow us, and, and allow us to leverage, that, leverage those capabilities to really maximize oral, oral bioavailability. And we, you know, throughout, the, throughout the process, we have a, uh, you will have an in-house expert who will, who will be with you along the way to assess the data and, and help you make the, make the appropriate decision about not just what the best formulation is, but what the appropriate formulation is for you. From Once that platform is selected, we can provide GOP tox supplies and ultimately GMP manufacturing to get you into your clinic faster. What do you mean by most appropriate formulation? Well, a lot of times we're asked by our clients, what is the best formulation for my compound? And we kind of like to turn that question around a little bit and say, well, really, what is the most appropriate formulation for your compound at this stage of your development? And using, leveraging a data-driven approach to assess the physiochemical characteristics of a compound in vivo and vitro data and DMPK analysis, we can certainly tell you what is the least risky formulation for you and what formulation is most likely to provide you the best in human oral bioavailability. But the question about what is appropriate for you is sometimes influenced by factors such as your timelines, your clinical protocol, your clinical strategy, your regulatory strategy, uh, the, your drug substance supply, and to be honest, sometimes your funding. And so what we, what we try to do is we try to uh, look at the, the, not just the, the chemistry of the compound, but also the client's situation and pick a, comp, pick a formulation that is uh, appropriate for what they're trying to do. For instance, we've had cases where clients have, have had a compound where an amorphous dispersion clearly outperformed all the other platform technologies in terms of, of in animal bioavailability. But due to clinical timelines, due to milestone-driven funding, the client selected, with our advice, to take a less enhanced particle size reduction strategy. While it didn't give them the best oral bioavailability, it gave them sufficient availability to get them into animals and hit their clinical milestones and their funding milestones. And in parallel with that, we were able to take the more optimized uh, 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 enhanced uh, spray dry dispersion formulation and get it ready for later stage clinical studies in a finished dose form. For a BCS class two mo molecule, how important is it to screen multiple bioavailability enhancement techniques? Well, when you look at the, your in vivo data and you leverage it with your, your DMPK analysis, you may find that you're able to eliminate certain types of platforms right off the bat. 
it may be clear that a less enhanced formulation platform will be perfect for you and you can go directly into that. Um, more likely than not, you're probably going to have to screen a couple of different technology platforms. The good news is we can do that rapidly and in parallel um, and, and provide prototypes to your animal studies and, and from that point we were able to make an informed decision based on real data. Are there any ways to determine which technology might work best? And um, what key activities should a company do to increase their confidence that the formulation they've selected is the right one? We prefer to take a data-driven approach to selecting formulation platforms. So we will look at the physiochemical characteristics of the compound and we will leverage in vivo a DMPK analysis with in vivo, in vivo data that's generated in your early animal models. And in those ways, we're sometimes able to eliminate certain platforms right away. At the end of the day, um, you, you, you want to give your compound the best chance of oral bioavailability. And so we're able to, we're able to screen our different technology platforms in parallel and rapidly using minimal API and, 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 and assess those prototypes in vitro and then provide samples to an animal, to to an animal laboratory for, for in vivo analysis. The combination of the in vitro data, the in vivo data, leveraged with DMPK analysis, we're usually able to eliminate certain platforms and, 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 pick, a, uh, and, and pick the best leads. And from there, we're able to scale those up into, into, into toxicology and, and GMP supplies. Mm -hmm.